It's Coda the Chusky, and she says, Do you know what day today is? It's Fan Friday! It's Fan Friday! Already, holy cow, that week went by fast. David says, I see you have ran a sled and skijored, but have you ever done bike joring with the girls? We have biked with the Springer, but we have not done bike joring yet. But we are looking to either get into that or scootering this summer. We'll see. We'll see. Charlotte wants to know what brand of flea and tick medication and what heartworm medication we use. Currently we use Canine Advantix 2 for the flea and ticks and we use Iverheart Max for heartworm. Chelsea says she has a husky who is very vocal and even though she's okay with it, it bothers her husband and she hasn't found a way to get the dog to hush a bit. She wants to know, is this something we're just going to have to live with? Well, as most of you know, huskies are very vocal. They like to talk, they like to make noise, they like to be the center of attention all the time. Notice Shelby has to be as close to me as possible while I'm trying to do this video, even though I need a better shot of you than this, Shelbers. Um, there are some training things you can do to try to keep them quiet, to kind of shush them when they're making noise. I haven't found very many of the ones that I've read about that have worked, so if anybody out there has a tip on how to keep your, how to teach your dog a shush command, so like when they're barking or talking and you can go shh, maybe they'll figure it out. Let me know. Let us know. Lori says, my eight week old husky puppy has started peeing in his crate. Is there anything I can do to deter this? If you have a puppy that you're trying to crate train and they're peeing in their crate, uh, normally it's one of two things. Either you're not letting them out often enough or the crate may be, be too big. Um, this is Oakley's crate. I know some crates you can actually buy like a wall to put in between them. Uh, to put down in the crate to make the space a little bit smaller. You may want to try that or just make sure you're letting the puppy out as often as you can. Those are the two things I would try. Things I would. Elizabeth wants to know, have you ever gone out to your living room and found out it snowed because your husky had killed another toy and taken all the stuffing out? What is the biggest toy or object your dogs have ever destroyed? Uh, yes, that's a common occurrence here where we come out here and one of the toys has been destroyed and tore up all over the place or Shelby found a roll of toilet paper she could access. Shelby, why are you in her kennel? Um, so yes, we have had that happen and the biggest fluffy thing they've ever destroyed, Shiloh actually destroyed a comforter. Um, she was very young when she did it, just a little, probably like six months old about, and she actually ate a comforter and took out all the stuffing and that was a giant mess. Matthew wants to know if a husky would be comfortable in a 1,500 square foot apartment. Um, a 1,500 square foot apartment is bigger than our first house was where Shelby and Shiloh lived. <laughs> uh, yeah, they should be fine in an apartment as long as you give them the right amount of exercise, uh, WALKing, and time outside. They usually will do good, even in smaller spaces. As long as, the biggest thing is this amount of exercise. If you give them the amount of exercise they need, they can pretty much live in any space. They like to be close to their owners. Again, there's my knee. There's the dogs. Gotta get as close as you can. Paige says, I'd love to do some biking with my dog, but he's rather small. He's a little Jack Russell Terrier mix, about 20 pounds. Would the Springer work with him? Uh, Shelby, can you get any closer? The Springer should work with a dog that size. Uh, you can buy, it's like a little bit of an extension so that it can reach down to the dogs that are shorter. But yeah, I would say definitely it would work. Of course, with a dog that size, you're not going to be able to go as far or as long as you can with a bigger dog. But there's really no reason why it shouldn't work. I think it'd be perfect for you guys. Are you you're even, you're touching me? You're so funny, Shelby. In the mail today, we got a letter from Kate, and Kate wants to know how long can a husky run? Thank you for the up-close nose, Oakley. Thank you so much. Um, huskies can run for a really long time. A good, conditioned, exercise-trained husky can easily run 30 miles in a day. Uh, as for how long they can run, probably hours and hours on end, I would imagine. Depends on if they're in a full run or if they're just in that little trot mode. And then we got a letter and a drawing from Vienna the Corgi on YouTube. So you guys will have to go check out her channel, Vienna the Corgi. We got a letter with some cute little drawings on it from our friend Amelia, who is six years old. And Amelia wants to know if we will send her a photo of the girls. Just so you guys know, everybody that writes us a letter, we do 
uh, mail everybody back and we, we include a photo of the dogs with every response. Yes, we do. Um, sometimes it takes me a little while to get written back to everybody. Hey, 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 stop it. Stop messing with my mail. But we do write everybody back. So yes, Amelia, if you're watching, which I know you are, we will send you a photo of the girls. That's all we have for Fan Friday today, you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I think the girls are looking for the squirrel out front. <laughs> Is there a squirrel? Is there a squirrel, girls? Is there a squirrel? <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for subscribing. Hi, Oakley. Oh, goodness. What? Tell me. Is there a squirrel out there? Is there a squirrel out there? Get it. <laughs> we'll see you guys on Monday.